The Junior Eurovision Song Contest season is officially here, and because of that, so am I. In case you are on my channel for the very first time, hi and welcome. I'm Karina, and I've been one of the youngest Eurovision commentators for a while now. I've been doing this for the last three years, so consider subscribing and check out my previous Eurovision videos. Overall, there are only three songs that I absolutely love, a lot of songs that I like, and a few that just didn't get into my heart yet. So let's find out which category this song belongs to. Is this the song I love, like, or unfortunately dislike? Is now the time for a boy to win the contest? Is it going to be Ukraine? Firstly, welcome to the first boy to represent after many years of girls representation. I've always been waiting for entries from Ukraine because they're always really good, but also unpredictable. They take risks and so they did this year as well. This song is definitely not generic classic song. It is actually a big risk taker because the song's style is a little bit strange and his way of singing and demonstrating low and high powers of his voice is something I haven't really seen before on Jesk. This voice is amazing. His voice may actually be one of the most powerful voices of the season. This is a really strange, but really, really good song. The younger audience may not appreciate its value as much as the older ones, because the song is a little bit more complex and serious. This song's title is Open Up, and the main messages of the song are that we have to open up to this world and be open to new possibilities, to never stop or be afraid to do what we want to do, despite difficulties, and to be open to changes, and also to remain grateful to this world. This song is such a grower. The more you listen to it, the more you'll like it. Now that you've heard what I had to say, I would love to hear what you have to say. Share your opinion and your predictions in the comments down below, if you're not disabled of course, and let me know who your favorites are from this season. Thanks so much for watching this video and consider subscribing if you wish to see more wonderful videos related to Eurovision season or subscribe to be with me for the next one. So if you wish to watch more Eurovision content, make sure to check out my previous reaction videos or TikTok series videos showcasing your favorite Eurovision stars in a different but more personal light. Bye for now and see you soon.